Las Vegas Raiders linebacker Nicholas Murrow has earned everything he has in the NFL. He made the roster as an undrafted free agent in 2017 and earned playing time right away. By 2019, he started 8 games and by 2020, he started 11 despite the Raiders signing Corey Littleton and Nick Kwiatkowski that offseason. He had a solid season and looked promising too, but his reward was only a 1 year extension and the Raiders drafting Divine Diablo, a college safety, to possibly replace him. I know Jonathan Abram is a first round pick and I believe he'll turn things around, but after 2020, Diablo should have been picked as more of an insurance policy to Abram at strong safety than Morrow at will. Morrow is an ascending player that the Raiders need to respect more. If he continues his rate of improvement, he will be a great player in 2021 and it would be a bad look if he were to leave the Raiders right after. The Raiders brought fast, undersized Moreau in to be more of a coverage linebacker. But it wasn't pretty for Moreau in coverage right away. He came from a Division III school, so there was quite an adjustment to make. And that would lead to him giving up some big plays. He's really going to get abused on this one. Biting on play fakes at times didn't help either. It might have helped him to look back for the ball too. All the while, he did show the potential to cover backs. Tight ends. And even receivers man to man. to the receiver as soon as the ball gets there and deliver punishing hits. Oh, like that. When receivers come across the middle, he is lurking. Oh. He can also read the quarterback's eyes to get interceptions. Not that new defensive coordinator Gus Bradley likes to blitz a lot, but he has someone that is effective at it when he does in Morrow. He disguises it well when he wants to. Watch him bluff here and go on the other side. That speed he has, the quarterback better have a plan for where he's going with the football. Also with that speed, he can close on a running quarterback like Lamar Jackson. Here, he's going to force what should be an interception out of Patrick Mahomes, but Nevin Lawson shows why he has zero career interceptions. Ah, come on. Man, Morrow has been pretty good throughout against the run as he can go sideline to sideline. The crackback comes for then Raider defensive end Khalil Mack, but no problem. Morrow takes outside containment. He can run like he's supposed to being undersized, but he also takes on and sheds blocks well. Also diagnose a play quickly and shoot downhill to make that play. And when he meets a running back in the hole, he's gonna win most of those. Oh! Here he's gonna come downhill again and oh! Moro is undersized but he's very physical. 
2020, he started to put it all together, but not at first. He got lost at times, trying to replace Nick Witkowski at the mic. And right away, he has to see Christian McCaffrey and Alvin Kamara. You can't be late to diagnose on those guys. A false step or misstep is a gain of at least six. And he made plenty of those in week three against the New England Patriots, running himself in the blocks. And the Patriots will go on to rush for 250 yards on the day. Then Kwiatkowski came back, Morrow moved back to the wheel, and he performed. Morrow is much more aggressive as a will, probably because he knows what he's doing at that position. That was early in week one, before Kwiatkowski's injury. Now he's coming in from the right of the screen to crash in and make the play. And this is just C-gap, fill-gap. Here's a decent rep from the mic position in week one. Here he just lets the play come right to him. And here he's gonna knife into the backfield and go get it. Now he's going to go get it in coverage, get the ball out of the tight end's hands. He really looked comfortable in coverage in 2020. And if you were going to try to catch the ball in his area, he was going to let you have it. Oh! He gets a good break on the ball in zone coverage. And that makes it easier for him to separate you from the ball. Boy, and they keep sending these receivers across the middle into his zone. And oh, is what happens. To show you how far he's come in coverage, this is Christian McCaffrey, the best pass catching running back in the NFL. And he's right there with them, but gets a pass interference call. All right, let's see that again. He had him all the way, and he didn't even have to bump him like that. If he looks back for the ball, that's an interception. Here we are with more coverage. He's in the zone. He reads the quarterback's eyes, breaks on it, and boom, breaks it up. Here he has tight man coverage, and then quarterback Phillip Rivers has to throw it low and away. And here he's in zone, and he's going to fight and fight and fight until that ball falls incomplete. Here we're going to have the scramble drill and Morrow's going to go a long, long way to break this pass up. Here he's in zone again. He reads quarterback Drew Brees' eyes and gets a gift. Morrow can also rush the passer to complete the trifecta. He gets up and gets his hand on one here. Here he's gonna fly in off the edge for a sack. And he's not gonna fall for the banana in the tailpipe trick here. He's going straight for the quarterback. Here he's coming with it and you can't even tell. Again, Bradley doesn't do that much, but it's nice to have someone who can when he wants to. Watch the time he has on this blitz to force the interception.
Morrow was always solid against the run. But he's really picked his game up in coverage as he can take you man to man. Absolutely punish you after the catch in zone. And read the quarterback's eyes to take the ball away in zone. He can put heat on the quarterback as a blitzer too. He's a do-it-all linebacker the Raiders should be thanking God they have. Thank you for watching. See you next time.